Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how our mind draws from the past and how we can actually switch it to draw from the future. So our unconscious mind, our autopilot mind, only knows the past. And considering that we're on autopilot a lot, most of us are, it means that we're constantly drawing from our past. And if you're on this channel, you probably believe that your mind creates your reality, which is true. So obviously what that means is if we're, if we're in our unconscious mind on autopilot, which we have to be during our day a lot of the time, it means that we're going to continually be manifesting our past, our old situations, our old manifestations over and over again. Every time you experience something new, your mind instantly looks for a point of reference. It needs a point of reference in order to form its opinions about this new thing, its thoughts about this new thing. So it instantly looks for a point of reference. And obviously the only point of reference it has is the past. So what that means is every new experience you have, unless you're consciously choosing your thoughts, all of the thoughts you form are being formed by your past because that's all that part of your mind knows. That's your unconscious mind only knows that. So it's going to draw from it, which is going to cause you to manifest the same things over and over again. This is why we end up in cycles a lot. This is why we often manifest the same things over and over again and don't understand why it's happening. So the first thing we can do to draw from the future rather than the past is when we experience something new, whatever it is, when we experience something new and obviously your mind begins this process of drawing from the past in order to form its new opinions, its new thoughts, its new beliefs. What you can do in that moment is when you become conscious of this happening, you can ask yourself, if I had the future I wanted, if I was that future version of me that had what I wanted, what thoughts would I be having? And when you choose that thought, you are instantly drawing from your future rather than your past. You're now drawing from your desired future rather than your past, which you don't want to repeat again. It's a very powerful process. So whenever you experience something new or just whenever you're thinking about something, ask yourself, if I had what I wanted, if I'd manifested what I wanted, if I had the reality I wanted, if I was that future version of me, what thoughts, ideas and beliefs would I be forming? And then think from that place. Consciously choose to think from that place. You're now drawing from the future, not the past. What we're doing when we're on autopilot, what we're doing when we're unconscious, thinking unconsciously, is we're letting our past dictate our future. We're letting that be the thing that be the place from where we continue to manifest. So we're letting that dictate our future. Another thing you can do is if you want to become really good at this, really conscious of your thoughts, at the end of your day, you can write a list of all the thoughts you can remember having, not every single one, just the bigger ones, and ask yourself, did these thoughts come from a conscious place? Did I consciously choose these thoughts? Or did they just happen on autopilot? Ask yourself, are these thoughts in alignment with what I want to manifest or are they in alignment with my past? So write this list and ask yourself that. One of the most powerful things you can do is call your thoughts out. When you notice a thought that you don't want to be having, you take some of its power away. When you call it out, when you make the unconscious conscious by calling it out, that has massive power to it. And the more you do this every day, the more you will actually begin to do it um, naturally. So the more you do it, the more you'll actually find that you're becoming naturally very conscious of your thoughts. You'll find that you're actually thinking on autopilot a lot less. I've been doing this for so many years now that I rarely think a thought that's come from autopilot. I rarely think unconsciously because I've been doing this for so long. So now me noticing my thoughts happens very naturally. And if you do these processes, it will happen that way for you as well. You'll naturally begin to notice your thoughts. So when you find yourself 
thinking something that's from your past that you don't really want to manifest again, you'll naturally, it will snap you awake. Just having that negative thought because it's now become unnatural to you, it will snap you awake. And you'll think, I don't really want to be thinking that's not what I want to manifest. So do these um, processes and it will really help you. It will help to keep you in alignment with the things that you want to manifest rather than recycling the past over and over again. Thanks for watching today's video. If it helped you, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.